I don't know what to do about definitions. I look at the humanism movement and I see not much movement. I see tongue clucking about fundamentalism and ignorance. Whenever you hear that word ignorance, you better perk up and listen. Because that's the elite talking to you. Speaking of the elite, feminism's been stolen. It's been stolen. It's been institutionalized. Just like civil rights, just like queer rights, just like disability rights. It's been hijacked by the institutions. It's been hijacked by the university system. University used to mean studies and voices of all people. Of course, it never was. But it was supposed to mean that there was room for everybody, theoretically. All ideas, as long as they were white boys' ideas. And then we invented America. Land of the free, home of the brave, golden opportunity, let freedom ring. Liberty and justice for all. Uh-huh. And it was still the white boys. Liberty and justice for all white boys. Military was the same way, you know, up until the 1940s. Remember all the screaming and hollering? No, you don't remember. You've never even studied it. It's been written out of your history books. All the screaming and hollering about what was going to happen to soldiers' morale if African Americans were allowed to serve alongside white soldiers. Well, you know what the real problem was. Those African American, Latino American, Native American, and Japanese American, people who'd been put in camps because of their race. Well, they went overseas. They went to places like France, Holland. Nobody called them boy. They called them sir. They said please and thank you. They didn't just order them around. Now, mind you, a lot of those soldiers were cooks and dishwashers. Oh, yeah, we had the Tuskegee Airmen and stuff like that, but... Those are mostly social experiments and pretty much segregated, just like the fellows in glory. with a white commander. They were treated with respect. They came back to Jim Crow. And they weren't going to settle for that anymore. Well, if you think the people in power didn't take notice of that, you are out of your mind. They didn't let black men fight for the Union because it was the right and honorable thing to do. They did it because the Civil War was basically a genocidal holocaust. It took a long time for them to let black folks pick up a gun. They'd run out of other soldiers though and they needed somebody to do it. And they knew these runaway slaves and freemen. They knew they'd fight with their hearts. They didn't need any propaganda. You watch that film Glory. Those men train without shoes. Well, here we are. It's 2012 and we're in perpetual war. There are adults in Afghanistan right now who don't know what it's like to live without war. And we really contributed a great deal to that. And we started running out of soldiers. It's all this shit about don't ask, don't tell, and letting queers serve in the military. You think that's social justice, don't you? And they believe the same stereotypes as everybody else does. 
gay means middle class white men, probably with educations, officer material. The positions women are in in the military now, almost equal to men, and being sexually harassed and raped by their fellow soldiers. This isn't about social justice. It's about corporate need. The corporations need these wars because the economy is collapsing. And war is a pretty profitable industry. Well, we got the same problem at the university, people. See, in spite of their best intentions, the people in power are now sharing the power with people of color who have managed to, at great considerable risk, scramble up the ladder and put their kids in college. Disabled people are attending universities. Stephen Hawking. Women are scrambling up. I know the MRAs are all, oh, there's more women than men. That's not our fault. So the university has to figure out a language for this. Because you see, part of the thing with the university is they have their little jargonized language, their little secret code. It's in for the in crowd, and they can tell an outsider right away. They always have been able to. I mean, we can show up their functions in exactly the same clothes, manicured, groomed, exactly like them, talking just like them. But they will know right off if we don't know their buzzwords and they change them. Remember that word vetted? Remember vetted all of a sudden appear? It's gone now, isn't it? So now you're hearing shit about privilege. There's two schools. There's the old school, white boy university, and then there's the new school. We don't have enough people in this country with educations to take over upper level management positions, engineering, so on and so forth. We're having to outsource, bring in people from India and China and to do our tech stuff. We don't have them homegrown anymore. So in comes this influx of women, people of color and queers and people with disabilities and language has to be changed and refined. It has to be very well structured and very hierarchical so that they can tell the in crowd from the out crowd. You go to atheism plus forums and you hear those buzzwords, you're here in the university. The university is no longer a place for higher education. You hear that? Hierarchy. It's no longer a place for research, as if it ever was. Remember when the mobs came to burn down the Library of Alexandria, those scientists had invented steam engines, used them for toys, not to end slavery. That's what Sagan says. So now we've got an upper crust that needs to assimilate a whole new demographic of people and make sure they are in the inside, dude. Can't have any riffraff. Because the university is totally corrupted by the corporations. Research and development, military industrial complex, pharmaceuticals, on and on and on. They need the university. The university is as crooked as dog's hind leg. It doesn't even pretend anymore. The University of New Mexico here. Sandia Laboratories, Los Alamos, all that nuclear shit. Military crap. We got Kirtland Air Force Base and White Sands Missile Range and Holloman and well, I'm not gonna go into a bunch of Illuminati shit, all right? But there are people who control things. I'm not gonna go off on a bunch of conspiracy stuff. There are people who control things, and they're not gonna cede their power. But now they don't have to. You're probably walking around with a cell phone with a global positioning unit in it. I saw on Facebook, excuse me, on Facebook, 
somebody said cell phones, tracking devices that let you make phone calls. And there's two schools in the university. There's the old school, the old white boy regime, where they are intellectually superior to everybody else, and they can immediately tell if a person has female genitalia or dark skin or is in a wheelchair or uh, carrying a white cane or maybe look like a poofter. Then they are beneath contempt. Of course, they would never say so. They never say so. They're so genteel. Yeah, I'm talking about Richard Dawkins. And man, we are supposed to kiss their asses. Because they are smart. They have the answers. They know what's what. And we're supposed to accept their authority. And when this new crop, this new generation comes up and... They're a completely different demographic. The old guard feels threatened. They always do. Goes on the military, too. We're fighting the wrong enemy. We're fighting each other. And boy, they're taking that all the way to the bank. In fact, they're encouraging it. They got us pitted against each other. Fighting each other. Blaming each other. while those bank accounts in the Cayman Islands get fatter and fatter. And I haven't bought any meat for a month because I can't afford it, even the crappy shit. So you go ahead and you make your little plans about how you're going to invade Atheism Plus's forums and teach them a lesson and troll the hell out of them and... You know, Atheism Plus is going to die of its own weight. They'll get bored with their toy and move on. And anybody who actually wants to do something, like me, is going to get a clue right quick. Apparently, some people are real slow because I've done figured it out. And say, so y'all people aren't doing nothing except squabbling. Let's see, we're not on the inside. Atheism Plus was started by academics. The people who blog about it are academics. The people who create the buzzwords, the people who moderate the forums, the people who are the spokespeople are academics. The only exception to this is Zinnia Jones. She's their token because she writes a good essay, but I'll bet she'll catch on too someday. Oh, she's getting so many strokes and so many little perks for being in on it that she may just ride with the tide. But the problem is not women. Women didn't create selective service. You know, women didn't even create child support. The state didn't want to have to pay child support. So they started going after deadbeat dads. You don't want to pay child support, watch where you stick your dick. Now, women still earning. We still don't have pay equity. I don't know if it's still 59 cents an hour, but down here where I live, yeah, we're not allowed to earn a living wage down here. So am I a feminist? I look around me and I don't see feminism. Feminism was about putting women at the center of the study. How did women fit into United States history, for instance? What classical music did women compose? What kind of literature did women produce? How did women contribute to the sciences, and how do they still? And how do we promote and encourage that? I mean, what you guys call the hard sciences. Not becoming social workers, becoming astrophysicists. It was about putting women at the center of the argument, of the discussion, of the, the focus. I see this so-called feminism and it's men this, men that, men this, men that. Completely distracted. No sense of sisterhood or solidarity. Not willing to mobilize on behalf of somebody who's in trouble. Picking at each other. <coughs> Horizontal hostility. And all scrambling for the right to get a piece.
PhD gets mouth that soup behind their name? Carry a briefcase. Looking down on prostitutes, looking down on trans women. Let's face it, it's class war. Oh, they talk a good game, but you know what us poor folks are good for? We're careers. They can uh, do a study and apply for some research money and then apply for a grant to implement a program. And they tell us what we need. I see how they disempower women, how they, anybody who has an idea, a real creative idea that's outside the box, how that gets slapped down. But it's not just about women, it's all poor people. Don't get too uppity. We'll put you in your place. And we got the whole authoritarian power system behind us to enforce it. So am I a feminist? Not by today's definition. I'm worse than a feminist. I'm a womanist. Go look it up. Worse than that, I'm a woman's liver. See, I believed in liberation. I believed in liberation for everybody, and I believed in starting with my own gender. I'm not talking about burning bras. I'm talking about alternative economies. Forming new, not only new businesses, but new kinds of businesses. Networks that people had never thought of before way before the internet. I remember being in a meeting once where we were talking about how could we possibly communicate instantaneously with Boston and New York and San Francisco and so on uh, without making long distance phone calls and we were investigating ham radio. Thinking way outside the box. Collective households, uh, multiple partners, collective child rearing, Flexible work hours. Stuff that... Well, Charlotte Perkins Gilman was talking about it before women had the right to vote. Read the yellow wallpaper. Yeah, I always put women at the center of my argument. And that means all women. Women with disabilities. Queer women. All women including trans women, women of color. That's across every socioeconomic, cultural, religious. But see, the institution got a hold of feminism and contained it, told it how to think, told it what to think, told it when it was allowed to speak and what it was allowed to say. And it's doing the same thing with atheism now. In the meantime, the people who are promoting this theocratic bunkum to control the masses of the superstitious are laughing all the way to the bank as we're at each other's struggles. I'm an atheist because I was a feminist. I'm far more radical than Mary Daly. I'm far more dangerous. That's why I'm living in poverty and isolation. Y'all better figure out who the real problem is. Science has no credibility anymore because it's at the beck and call of industry. Most Italian scientists just got uh, thrown in jail for manslaughter because of earthquake warnings. They've invaded the university and they're getting away with it because who they really represent is the corporate interest. Global warming deniers, creationists, what is that science council with all those Bible thumping tea baggers on it? National Science and Technology Council? But no, you're going to go invade the Atheism Plus Forum. They're, they're going to die of their own weight. Oh, you got to go waste time on that. Meantime, I can't get a can of soup from a food pantry without a lecture on how unworthy I am and how I'm going to hell if I don't toe the line. You guys need to get your priorities straight. I'm sick of this shit.